everyone. Welcome back to our last Life Plus of the year. What a great school year we have had. But let me tell you, summer is my favorite time of year. I love family time. I love the lazy schedules, staying up late, talking with the kids, lazy mornings, exercising, reading, just taking the time. We go to the pool or the beach almost every day. I just treasure all the extra time with my children. And I just wanted to encourage you as you move into summer, summer can be busy. Summer can be a time where we're just trying to keep our kids occupied while we continue working, but please make the most of this time this year. Um, we just wanted to share some of the ways we like to spend our summers. Um, you know, Doug still has to work all summer. There's a lot of uh, stuff to get ready for the next school year, so he'll still be up here a lot, but we do take the time to treasure just being together, um, creating memories, and so one of the ways that we uh, really enjoy our time together is um, sitting around the dinner table and during the school year we don't get to do that every night so during the summer we really take the time to make sure we're all around the dinner table together every night discussing the day discussing goals um, just laughing really more than anything um, we also just really enjoy reading together it's something that we've always done is reading different books together and we wanted to recommend some of those to you this year as well as we find family movies to watch and discuss together it's a great way to promote conversation so we, we pray that this summer you'll um, just take the time to really enjoy being together. Some of the books that we have read together as a family that we wanted to recommend to you, one of our all-time favorite is The Chronicles of Narnia. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is, is a classic by C.S. Lewis. It's a great one to start, and then you can read the whole series. We've actually read through it three times with our kids as they've grown through the years. Um, so I would highly recommend that one. And then the past two summers, we've gone through some that are great for all ages but particularly for the middle high school age promotes some great conversation um, the first one is called the young traveler's gift by andy andrews it's a fun novel uh, but uh, it kind of talks about historical characters and, and different characteristics that we can learn from them and then another one is called the case for christ which is just a defense of christianity but this is the student edition, so it's an easy read. We read it with all of our kids last summer, and even our eight-year-old was able to pick up on some great truths and learn from it. So those are just some great ones that you can read out loud as a family and promote discussion. Um, Doug, would you like to recommend some others? Yeah, so the only other side of it is, as you think individually and just about personal growth and what that looks like, there's, there's a million books I could recommend. I'm, I'm a reader, so I enjoy that. But Three of them that I think are, are relevant to what we've been talking about this year and relevant to you as a family. Um, one is uh, an older Andy Crouch book called TechWise Family. Um, this is a book that uh, we've mentioned throughout over the last couple of years, but it's a, it's a good way to start thinking about technology because um, that's not going away and that discussion's ongoing. Uh, another one that we used in class this year and we've talked about a couple times is John Mark Comer's Live No Lies. Um, this is a great book to get you thinking about truth and just what are the lies that we're challenged with each day and then what does it look like to replace those lies with truth in our life. Um, and then a final one, this goes back to the Rooted Conference at the beginning of the year if you didn't have a chance to get and grab this and read it. Um, it's called Gen Z Unfiltered by Tim Elmore. And this one goes through um, and really looks at this generation. But one element of it that's in there that I've been thinking a lot on, um, we talk a lot about um, you know trauma in our culture and all those things and, and the post-traumatic uh, issues, stress, whatever it might be. Um, but there's some interesting studies that have come out recently and he digs into a little bit on post-traumatic growth. Um, and just the overwhelming percentages of people that actually grow through those experiences. It doesn't always turn to a negative um, and there's opportunity. But this book does a great job of analyzing um, just thinking through culture and how to relate and what that looks like. But for you, uh, we just want to wish you an awesome summer. Hope you and your families are able to take time, enjoy, be away, be still, talk, um, grow closer to Christ, grow closer to each other. Uh, and we thank you for the year we've had and we look forward to the fall.